Well, hello, boys and girls. It's when we feel like it o'clock. I'm Pearl of Wisdom, and you're listening to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom Be Pal Picks Edition. And we have some. We have a great time. One of the greatest things in the land going on right now. We have a letter. Perlo dance. Everybody, Perlo dance. Yeah, Avatar. Come on. There you go. Put that down. Just go. Perlo dance. There. Now, what is that you got, anyways? Oh. Sorry about that. Pick that back up again. Okay. Avatar. Avatar is awesome. He's in my uh, live. He comes to my live show from three from three to five Eastern every day, five days a week, Monday to Friday. He goes over there and we do picks. Uh, right now, Mercer, I believe, is in the lead, but it's a tight race, and you can move up really fast. And at the end of the month, the winner gets to dare me to do something for a month. Yeah. So there's that. <laughs> Unless I win, and then you don't have to. Okay, we got a letter. I know I'm going to get to your picks. Don't you worry. We had some finest picks in the land. You all made money yesterday, didn't you? Yep, you sure did. Alina Nanu from Trispol, Moldova. Trispol, Moldova. Asks, why are you wearing your headset while you're doing the video? That's a really good question. And that's a really short letter from all the way from Moldova. You probably could have just messaged me that. But um, the answer, I, I, I'm a little bit embarrassed. I don't, I, it feels comfortable. Actually, it's because I'm listening to other cappers before I start my video usually. So I forget to take them off. And I'm just going to leave them on now because now it's going to bother you. <laughs> but I listen to like the hockey, uh, the ice, the ice guys and uh, uh, best bet Ed. I don't know why I promote these guys. They get way more followers than I do, but it's who I follow. I also listen to the ice guys live show all the time uh, because I like them. They're good. So to answer your question, that's why. We got ourselves another Perlocopter, so hit your subscribe. I've heard some complaints, uh, it's not complaints, but concerns about the uh, Pearls of Wisdom necklaces. Or you can also have, we also have some new swag. You can have a, uh, per, a ring o Perlo or a, a, a Perlo bracelet as well, if you wish. Put it in the comment section, tell me which one that you want. Send that in the Perlocopter. Hernandez and Melissa will be over there. We got a new Perlocopter. We're going to get a new Perlocopter driver. We're doing some interviews right now, and we'll find out who that is, and we'll let you know who it is. We're going to have three because we're getting so many subs. We're trying to hit a 1,000, so, you know, hit that. Touch the, just touch the sub. Just try it. It makes you feel good on your insides. Give it a shot. Hit the subscribe button. Okay, thanks. Okay, picks. Oh my gosh, everybody, look at you're getting annoyed out there waiting for the picks to come out. Okay, we got quick picks for you, and then we're going to talk about our picks from yesterday, and we're going to give you a in-depth analysis of why we did these picks. It's for people who really like capping, and we want to get better together. It doesn't mean I know everything I'm talking about. It just so happens I hit a lot, so I can learn from you. You can learn from me. That's why I. Listen to other people out there, because that's how we learn, right? Right. Okay. I don't know. Maybe we don't, but it's fun. What do we got? Oh, I got the wrong one. Here we go. See, look at the fancy, my fancy, all my, all my, tool, my fancy writing material that I have. Uh, Canes, money line, over six. No, nope, that's the wrong one. Scratch that. <laughs> Let's get to our actual picks now. Okay. Hurricanes, money line, under five and a half. Could have just pretended. Rangers in reg, under six. Penguins in reg, over six. 
Lightning, money line, under six. Capitals, puck line, over six. Bruins, money line, under five. I'm shady on that one. I'll tell you that right now. You can find out afterwards. Red Wings, puck line, under five and a half. Stars, money line, over five and a half. Did I have over? Yes, I did. Huh. Leafs, money line, over six. I even surprised myself. I, I, I'm, I'm already questioning myself before I even get started. <laughs> I'm like questioning myself already. Okay, so we're going to go off, see what our picks were like from uh, last night, from tonight, whatever you want to call it. The, uh, what is it, 14th? What's the date today? 14th. I, I, I got to check the date every time I do these videos. You ever notice that? Yeah, it's because I don't follow dates and times and all that because I do things when I feel like it, right? Just like you should. Okay, that's what we do here. And I also do things without pants. I'm not wearing pants, just so you know that. I believe in pants-free living. The less, the, ha the, the less we wear pants, the happier we will be, I say. Okay, where are we here? Where's the games? Right here. Okay, there's games going on right now. We have the Golden Knights. We had it money line. Could have won in reg, but uh, I, I guess I got a little skittish about these games. It's getting closer to playoff time. I have a tendency not to do in reg as much. Games usually get a little tighter. But we had the over, and uh, so we nailed that one. Uh, I think that's like three pearls or something like that. Uh, ducks, we have, I, I went wimpy, I went puck line for one unit, and we have the over on here, so we need three more goals. San Jose is just trash. Why didn't I take Anaheim money line? I don't know. A San Jose team is, uh, look at them on, they're showing them on the bench right now, and they just look like, yeah, whatever. I want to go surf. Anyways, okay, we had the wild money line for large pearls. And we had the over. Boom, boom, boom. So we're crushing it. I think we're up about five pearls right now. Uh, something like that. My, this was the one that knocked us down. We had the over for a, for a pearl. And we had the Canadians. And this was a bad loss for the Canadians. The Flames just played an overtime game the night before. Now, I was a little bit because they didn't play much before that. So I probably could have took that into consideration. But in this situation where the Canadians uh, really need this win because the Flames are kind of catching up to them a bit, um, I didn't think they played very well uh, from what I saw. They didn't play with the type of urgency that you want to see a team play especially going for blood on a team that just lost to Toronto in overtime the night before and then had to fly to Montreal. I know that's not that long, but it's still a lot. If you ever, uh, you probably never, if you ever have to, if you ever play in the NHL, but I mean, I didn't play in the NHL, but I did a lot of travel in between games on buses and stuff like that. And you had a late game and you got to play the next game, especially after a tough game like that. Um, it's a it, the advantage goes heavy to the home team, and this was on the road. Montreal, bad, bad. In fact, I think that might be uh, Pearl, Pearls of Wisdom's uh, House of Spanking worthy. So, um, if I can find the time, maybe I'll get because we're right now we're uh, interviewing for the new Prolo Copter driver, but. Let's see if we can find time to get Melissa over there and get the Canadians and bring them over to the House of Spanking tomorrow. Let's see if we can set up a time for that. Yes, Mr. Price and the gang. Spanking's for you. You need it. A good spanking every once in a while, you know? Sometimes it just, just sets you straight. Maybe that's what happened. Maybe the Calgary Flames, they're, they're not far from this land here. They're just down there. Maybe they did that. That's why they're playing so well now. Probably. That's probably it. Um, Jets versus Senators. We had it for large pearls. We had the Jets in reg, too. 
So that was a big one. Uh, we had the under for one. So we're up like seven pearls. Uh, we had the blues on the puck line for medium. And uh, we had, did we have the under or over on here? Let me check my Patreon. This is my Patreon, the Patreon of Frolic right here. Um, see, this is the ML. This is the Canadians that we messed up. It's up here. Blues. Over. We did have the over. So, yeah, we're up lots. Good job, us. Well done. Well done, us. Everybody. Perla dance and all that. Uh, looks like it's even getting better if that can go, that San Jose Anaheim game can go over. Uh, we have Anaheim PL, so that's already in. But we need it to go over, otherwise, it's pretty much a wash. Good day indeed. I didn't put any parlays in today. And I actually forgot, because I was very busy today doing my lives, I had to go get, uh, you know, uh, set out, uh, send it out to all those places, those that, that go find you workers to get a perlocopter or helicopter drivers, perlocopter drivers, indeed, and all that. I had to do all that stuff. So I should have got somebody else to do that. I almost missed a nap today. Close, but I didn't. Uh, so I got really busy and I forgot to put it. If I did, though, I know my plan was it was going to be Minnesota. So that would have been great because that would have been five units and we would have been up big time. But I didn't, so I couldn't count it. Got to be honest. Got to be truthful. Let's get to our picks then for tomorrow, shall we? Or we're, we're right here, aren't we? Yes, we are. Okay. So we got Carolina and Nashville. Now, as I stands right now, we got Hurricanes money line. It says that Nedeljkovic is going to be in, and Soros for Nashville. This is a tight. This this should be a fairly tight game. Nashville's right in contention to make the playoffs. Fighting with Chicago, just beat Tampa by a long shot, but that was with McElhaney in net. Um, Nashville hasn't been scoring lots and lots besides that game in Tampa Bay, but against a team like Carolina that plays strong defense and they're very injured, I'm going to lean Carolina on the money line here, but I don't think I'm putting a ton on it. This Nashville team's energy is pretty fantastic. I, I'm, I'm almost considering taking the spread at 163. It's a tough, this is a very tough mat, game. Uh, and I'm going to go under because if Nedeljkovic is in. Because those are two strong goaltenders. And like I said, I think it's going to be a pretty tight game. Rangers versus New Jersey. Uh, I, I got to keep on going to the Rangers here. I like New Jersey's team makeup. Um, again, Shesterkin is projected. One of these games, though, they're going to throw Gorgiev in. And that may throw me for a loop. Um, however, Blackwood, it should be Blackwood and Shesterkin. So I'm going the under. Shesterkin is just going off right now. Incredible. Um, playing very well. Blackwood's playing very well too, but he doesn't have the play a team in front of him that is very well, good right now. He sure just came back for New Jersey, but it's only a second game back. I'm going to give him a little bit of time. And I believe Zaka is still injured for New Jersey. So I think the Rangers up the middle is going to expose New Jersey quite a bit with uh, Zabanajad, Strom, and uh, all of that. So um, not to mention the Rangers' defense is getting better and better as the year goes on. Uh, their young players, like Fox especially, you could actually make a case almost for the Norris for Fox, who's playing so well. So... Um, I'm going to go Rangers, and I'm going to go under six. It is six, right? Total. Didn't go change it on me yet. Yes, six. As you can see, these are different ones you can do. I like opening here sometimes. I should get all these books. Bodog, Bet Online, Interlop, Betway, 
all of them because you can get your best odds from uh, from each one if you do that. I highly recommend you do that. Um, Philadelphia versus Pittsburgh. I can't take Philadelphia in any way, shape, or form. They look they just look like they gave up. They gave up the ghost. Doesn't matter what goaltender is in. It's probably going to be. Uh, Carter Hart, I guess. Uh, they keep on rolling Elliott because Carter Hart seems to have lost his uh, confidence and they don't want to kill the kid. So with their defense that is so as bad as it is, I'm taking Pittsburgh and I'm taking them in reg. Uh, yeah, and I'm taking over six. Philadelphia's defense is too bad. Pittsburgh is is like, it's kind of like, we forget that Pittsburgh's defense is not great either, but they get away with it so much. It's crazy. Um, if Jari's in net, there should be a lot of goals in this one. Uh, yeah, over, over, I would say. Florida versus Tampa Bay. Um, what did I, did I put T-Bay down here? Lightning ML under six, yeah. Um, uh, Vasilevsky should be in. As long as Vasilevsky is in, I think they got a good shot here. Bob Broski was not great his last outing. He was oh, he's been okay. He's been better this year, but not great. Vasilevsky threw all of the uh, uninspired play that Tampa Bay has did this year has played very well. I'm banking that here soon Tampa Bay is going to start playing the game that we're accustomed to from them. So I'm going to go Tampa Bay ML here, but only ML, and I'm not putting a lot on it. I am going to lean under just because I'm, I'm, I think Florida, Florida's been having a tough time scoring lately. So they're probably going to have a tough time scoring against Vasilevsky. But either one on this, I'm not super comfortable with. So it's kind of a fadey game to me. Buffalo versus Washington. Washington should crush this game all day long. Um, can't think of a reason why they won't. <laughs> Tukarski's in net. He, I mean, he played okay against Boston, and he looks like he's getting more comfortable. But we're talking about Washington here. Highest, uh, fourth highest scoring team in the league. Best power play in the league. Buffalo's got nothing. The only way this... Uh, this may go under simply because Buffalo it can't score enough, but I think they should pot a. I'm I'm leaning over. I'm leaning over because I think Washington can absolutely crush this game, but I'm not going to put a lot on it because Washington has a tendency to play down to their competition too. So, let's go. I'm still going to go over, but I'm going Washington puck line. Puck line, yeah. Toronto versus Winnipeg. What a great game this is going to be. Um, I think, when it, is Winnipeg on a back-to-back -back here? What did I put down? I put, yeah, I, I faded this game because there was no, uh, I wasn't getting odds. Um, I'm leaning the Leafs because Winnipeg has just played a lot of hockey lately. But Campbell has not been, he, he crushed it for the first little while there and kind of looked back to being shaky again, so I'm not sure. But I'm going to go Toronto Moneyline. And... It's Hullabuck going to be in net. Did they, oh, they played last night. Yeah, they, this is a back-to-back. -back. Toronto, Moneyline, and over. Over. If it's six. Six and a half, maybe not so much. But we don't have a total here at the moment, so you were kind of running blind. Boston versus the Islanders. Uh, what are we getting on a spread here? Yeah. 143. That's it. That's almost what I feel like doing, though. It's probably your most, your best bet is taking New York Islanders puck line. Um, really tough game. Under five because Rask is going to be in now. I'm going to say that Boston gets a boost from having Rask back. 
and they win this one on the money line. And it stays under with these two very strong defensive teams that are fighting for positions for a playoff, especially Boston. I'm going to say under five. And I don't like doing under fives, but this feels like it probably will be under five. Chicago versus Detroit. Uh, Chicago just had an injury, a significant injury. Oh, defense to defense, and that's the problem. They they are not strong on defense as it is, and they just had Boquist and Dehan uh, out. Um, that does that really thins out their defense that wasn't playing all that well to begin with. Lankinen is kind of fallen a bit. Since, you know, he's, they played him an awful lot. They played him crazy, actually. Subban might even get the start here. In which case, if Subban gets a start, I'm taking the Detroit I'm taking Detroit money line. If not, I'm taking the puck line at least and maybe money line. Um, uh, Detroit has actually been playing really well. Bernier should be in net. Let's go Detroit money line. Let's go off the board here. Detroit. Money line and under. Detroit money line and under five and a half. Columbus versus Dallas. I'm taking Dallas. I yeah. Uh, I hope he goes with Corpusalo again. He being uh, Tortorella. I hope he keeps on going back to Corpusalo. I don't know if he's trying to prove a point to his management or something. I don't know what he's doing, but. Corpus Allo is just a bad goaltender. It should be Merz Lickens here, in which case I'm going to lean the under. If it's Corpus Allo, I'm leaning the over. And I'm probably going Dallas in rank if Corpus Allo is in. Otherwise, I'll stick to the money line and the under. Well, that's my full 42, boys and girls. That's all I have to give. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for chatting with me in the comment section. I love it. Tell me what your picks are for the day. I'll... I'll I'll connect with you. I will. Hit the subscribe, bell, all of that. See you at my show tomorrow between 3 and 5 Eastern on this channel. Okay, bye.